Hi guys, how are you doing? I've been away for a while. I've been traveling quite a bit. I've not been able to create any videos, um, but uh, I'm finally settled now. I'll be creating videos more often. And I want to start off by creating videos on DevOps. So I want to share with you how to learn DevOps really fast. All right, so a lot of people have asked me, uh, how can you learn? Because there's so many DevOps technologies, they're changing so fast, right? So what's the sustainable way to keep learning everything really quickly? So what I'm about to share with you is not like a real method. It's more of a hack. It's a process that you can use to keep learning again and again and learn new technologies really fast. But you have to be mindful of how you want to apply it, right? You have to be aware of how you would want to apply it in your, uh, you know, learning. So I'm sharing with you my method uh, on how I'm able to stay at the cutting edge of uh, DevOps technologies really quickly. But you need to, um, you know, understand uh, or, or, you know, find out if this works for you or not. All right. It's not for everybody. So what I do is, I go to GitHub. Uh, this is how I started, uh, actually. I, I went to GitHub and I found projects of various different tech stacks. So let's say the first project that I found would be Java and front end could be just, you know, let's say Angular, right? Second project would be Node.js and then uh, the front end would be React.js. Third project would be, let's say, Python and Django. The front end would again be, uh, let's say, Vue.js or something like that, right? Now, what that does is that gives me different technologies and uh, that uh, and and uh, most importantly, I found the projects which don't have any dev any uh, you know implementation of any DevOps. Like I said, no Docker files have been written for it. No Kubernetes uh, files have been written for it. So I'll find these kind of projects, right, for different tech stacks, and then I'll uh, sit and think on how to actually write a Docker file. So stage one is uh, starting to write Docker files for all these uh, you know projects. So you have to understand the front end and the back end, right? You have to understand what kind of builds will be created. You'll have to understand, you know, how to write the Docker file in the sense, how to add volumes, how to add, uh, you know, the bridge, the network bridge and all those different things, right? So that will help you to, that will push you to understand Docker concepts a lot more. So what I'm saying is you just learn the basics of Docker, the very basics, and then you actually start finding these projects and actually start trying to write the Docker files. And then you'll uh, you'll you won't understand anything, and you'll find you'll face a lot of challenges, right? Because you won't understand anything uh, how Docker is working and how to actually write a Docker file. And that's when you'll actually uh, go to the internet and you'll find that exact specific thing because Docker is quite extensive, right? Uh, there's a lot to learn. So when you're doing targeted learning, right? When you want to uh, do the things exactly that you want, that's when you learn things much much faster, and you'll actually be able to apply it, right, in your actual life. Now the stage two is when you become a little more advanced and you start writing Docker Compose files as well, right? And stage three is you become a little more advanced, you start writing Docker Swarm, you write, start writing complete swarms with Docker. And then uh, after you, you're comfortable with this, right? So uh, almost everybody who's following my channel right now, like all of you, you probably know how to write Docker, Docker Compose, Docker Swarm because I've been doing that on my channel, right? You already probably know this much. What I've not been sharing on my channel is about Jenkins, how to write CI/CD pipelines, which I'll do that, I'll do that uh, very soon. Don't worry, but if you, uh, obviously if you can't wait till then when I can, when I teach you Jenkins, the faster way to learn is uh, you pick up projects, like I said, or tech, of different tech stacks, you implement Docker, Docker Compose, Docker Swarm, or, or skip this part if you want to, and then directly write CI CD pipelines with Jenkins, all right? Write that, it'll take a while, uh, I'll say it'll take about 10 to 12 days to get used to Jenkins and to write, start writing proper pipelines that take your project, build it, and then take it to the cloud. Uh, but this is the fastest way to learn Jenkins. If you if you are on a really uh, small constraint of time constraint and you just have like a couple of weekends to learn Jenkins, this is the this is the way to go, right? This is how I learned it. And then after you're comfortable with this, so I'm telling you these stages because this is the right uh, order in which to learn it, right? If you try to learn Kubernetes before you learn Docker, you're going to go completely mad. Don't do that, right? Learn Docker, learn Docker Compose, learn Docker Swarm. Don't learn Kubernetes before you learn Docker Swarm. It's going to get very complicated for you. Learn Jenkins, understand how CI/CD works, then you learn Kubernetes. All right, do follow. Please follow this stage. I'm trying to save a lot of time for you. I've, I've uh, been through everything since the past three, four years. I've been through every single de DevOps technology that's out there in the world, and I'm giving the right order in which you have to learn. All right, and I'm also telling the right hack which you can use. Which I said, you know, find the projects and start applying, uh, start writing these files, and this will really push you on the edge. And you'll have to really look for these things and how to write these things, and then you'll learn really, really quickly. Then the last stage, which people try, somehow people try to put this stage right here after just after Docker, right? Don't do that. The last stage is Terraform and Ansible, which is IAC, which is infrastructure as code. You write your own complete IAC, right? Um, this is always the last stage, all right? So learn in this stage. And now, uh, along with this, uh, now this, these are the technologies, right? But eventually, you have to, everything has to go to the cloud. 
Now, uh, on the cloud, that means you have to start uh, knowing, let's say, if you, even if you create a Docker file, you want to push it to the cloud, you have to start knowing what is EC2, right? How the EC2 uh, servers are created. So at the same time, parallelly, well, let me show you, uh, so I'll put a dotted line here. So parallelly, you're also learning about AWS and the AWS technologies, right? Uh, and how this actually, how everything actually goes to the cloud. So EC2 is just one category, right? And, uh, and then you have your uh, S3, IAM, RDS, and SNS, which is another category. Then you have your Beanstalk, then you have your CloudFront, cloud, uh, front, CloudWatch, API Gateway. Uh, actually, all of this can be covered in a basic uh, AWS Associate program. If you want, you can join like a degree program for, uh, not a degree, like a certification program for AWS Associate, and you'll get to learn all of this. And um, uh, this is where I, I, I say that you can do a little more advanced deep dive into AWS, which is the serverless part, Lambda, Dynamo, DB, and SQS. Uh, I did a deep dive into this. I have uh, even two courses on Golang and uh, serverless. You can you can learn you can uh, you know learn from that there as well. And then uh, I'll be creating a course here for Cognito Amplify and AppSync. You can learn from there, or you can if you want to implement it on your own, you can do you can do that. This is like a complete full stack uh, serverless uh, solution that you get with AWS, right? You can use Cognito and Amplify with your uh, React, and in the backend we'll use Lambda and DynamoDB. So a complete full stack uh, support AWS gives you with serverless, all right? So uh, along, uh, like I said, you know, along with these five, six stages, you're also uh, learning everything about AWS. And that's the fastest way, right? So I'll quickly, I'll just, uh, uh, you know, summarize it. So you go to GitHub, you find uh, different projects with different tech stacks. So here I've written at least three tech stacks you have to find, like let's say Angular, Java, React, Node.js, and uh, you know, uh, Django and Vue, Vue, because all three different front-end uh, technologies are covered here, right? And the most popular back-end technologies are also covered. If you want, you can do with Golang, you can do with, you know, Rust, JS, and all those, but those are completely optional. At least these three you need to know if you want to be a DevOps uh, engineer, if you want to call yourself a DevOps engineer. Then these are the six stages you want to divide yourself in. First, you have to start writing Docker files, and Docker Compose, Docker Swarm, Jenkins, Kuban, Terraform. Once you start writing, these, uh, you have to ensure that the projects that you pick up don't have any of this, uh, you know, implemented. And then you start writing all these files. You get used to it. And at the same time, you're also learning everything about AWS, like all the different technologies that AWS provides you, how to use them, how, you know, how to use the AWS console, how to write those scripts with AWS, right? You can even use AWS. I use a lot of uh, AWS CLI. I use AWS SAM to do all of this uh, automated work for me, right? So you can check them out as well. If you, if you or if you can wait, uh, if you're not, you know, stressed upon time and you don't have time constraint, you can wait. I'll show you all these technologies slowly anyways on my channel. Anyhow, so I hope this video is helpful to you. Now, uh, there's one thing, probably you might not be able to find these projects very easily, right? That's that's quite possible. And if you want uh, my help to find these projects for you, uh, not a problem. You just ping, uh, like, uh, you know, send, drop me an email or uh, there's, there's my LinkedIn profile link uh, in the description, just ping me on LinkedIn and I'll send you the list of uh, the projects that I know, that I used to learn uh, all these technologies really quickly, right? I have a list of about seven, eight projects. I'll send them to you. You don't even have to find it. Actually, you don't even do this work on your own. Just ping me on LinkedIn, all right? So thank you for watching. And this is a hack that you will learn everything very fast, right? But uh, you will also become very uncomfortable because, um, because you know, you're not going slowly, right? You're learning everything very quickly. So it'll make you uncomfortable because suddenly you'll think, oh, I don't know this, I don't know that. You'll get stressed a little bit, but this is the fastest way out there to learn DevOps. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and do drop me a comment if you like the video or if you think there's something missing or uh, you know, if you didn't like it, just let me know. Thank you.